Hello everyone and welcome to Just Vintage Crochet and today I wanted to work in this edgings book that I got from Julie. Thank you very much Julie. I was looking through some of the patterns that you sent and I felt very inspired to work a lot of these edgings. Look how absolutely beautiful they are. We're going to work a lot of the edgings in this book but today we're just going to do three. Three very fast tutorials. As, as complicated as some of these edgings look, they're really not. So I figured we would start with something really simple, kind of a little pico edging. Now these edgings, you can use them on towels, blankets, baby blankets, a scarf you may currently be working on. You don't have to work them in this fine thread. You can work them in any yarn that you're currently working with on your projects. And you can also turn these into chokers. You know, you can wear around your neck. You can turn them into edgings for a... Uh, your sleeves, you know, just attach it to the sleeve. You know, you can really do anything you want with these. So I figured we would start with a really easy one, one that's a little bit more decorative, and then one that is quite a bit more ornate. And believe it or not, all three of them are equally easy. So let's get right into these. I'm going to be using a number 10 cotton thread and the thread calls for a 1.5 millimeter, but I'm gonna go with a 1.25 millimeter so that I can get this great stitch definition. And I would recommend you do the same thing. So if you're making a scarf and you're using your yarn and a five millimeter hook for your edging, I would go down to a, a 4.5 or a 4.25, just so you get that good stitch definition. So let's start with the very first pattern, all of these are gonna start with a slip stitch. So let's just go ahead and get a slip stitch going right away. Here we go. And I forgot to mention this book is from 1945, uh, right here, here we are. And again, thank you so much, Julie. Okay, so let's get into the very first edging. And this one is the simplest one. It says right here, make a chain slightly longer than the length desired. So I went with a chain of 50. This is what in this thread with this hook, this is what a chain of 50 basically is. I only had one extra stitch at the end. So let's go ahead and work a chain as long as you'd like. I'm gonna work a chain of 50 again. So I will be right back. With any leftover stitches that you do have, like if you want to put this on the bottom of a towel or something, you would just, let me get a little needle here, you would just get like a little needle and undo your starting slip knot. There we go. Then you will just undo the one and then give it a pull. And there you are. Now it's even. And you would do that for every extra stitch that you had, except for always want to leave one stitch on there to help create the knot or else your knot will be underneath back here underneath your stitch. Okay, moving right along. So now we're going to, I always work in the back bumps. We're going to single crochet into the ninth chain from the hook. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Work a single crochet. Chain five, one, two, three, four, five. Skip three chains, and in the fourth chain, work a single crochet, and you'll repeat this all the way to the end. Chain five, one, two, three, four, five. Skip three, one, two, three, and in the fourth stitch, work a single crochet. I will be right back. Okay. So we've worked our way all the way across. Now we're going to chain five and again, I just have the one extra stitch. Chain five. <coughs> Sorry about my little dog. Okay, so now we're gonna chain five, two, three, four, five. And in the third chain down on your chain five, work a pico. And in this case, we're gonna work a pico with a single crochet and not a slip stitch. Just like that. Chain three, one, two, three, go ahead and turn, and right into the first space here, work a single crochet, and then repeat. One, two, three, four, five, 
third chain down, work your single crochet, pink pico, just like that. Then chain three, one, two, three, and into the next space over, work a single crochet. And this is the repeat all the way to the end. I'll work that with you one more time. Chain five, one, two, three, four, five, and in the third chain down from the hook, work your single crochet, pico, chain three, one, two, three, and into the next space over, single crochet. I will meet back up with you when we work our way all the way down to the end. There we go. Okay, now we've worked our way down to the end here and you're simply going to end with a single crochet in the last loop there, kind of work its way over to the end. And that's it, that's the whole pico edging. Then you just kind of fix them up a little, correct them a little bit. And this is really great for towels and whatever you may wish. But yeah, there you go, the pico edging. Okay, let's move on to the next one. I really like this. Okay, so here is our next edging. I really like this one a lot. And it says that we are going to chain eight and work a double crochet in the fourth chain from the hook and one double crochet into the next three chains. Oops. So let's go ahead and do that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And again, I always work in the back bumps. We're gonna work one double crochet in the fourth chain from the hook. One, two, three, and four. And one double crochet into the next three chains, leaving your last one unworked. Oops. There we go, three. Now in the last stitch, we're going to work a double crochet, chain two and a double crochet, so a V stitch. And without chaining anything first, we're just going to jump right in and work a V stitch. So one double crochet, chain two, and one double crochet all into the same stitch. There we go. Now for row two, we will, oh, and then it says to chain five and turn. So row three, two, row two, we're gonna work three double crochet into that first space. So we have to chain five and turn first. Missed that last little step. One, two, three, four, five. And we work three double crochet into this space. One, two, and three. Now we're gonna chain two and skip two and work a double crochet twice. So skip two, work a double crochet, then chain two and skip two, putting us in our turning chain. So in the turning chain, we work a double crochet. Okay. And now chain five and turn. So let's chain five. One, two, three, four, five. In the third row, we're gonna work one double crochet into the next double. Then chain two and one double crochet into the next three doubles. Then three double crochet into the space chain two and double crochet into that same space, chain five and turn. 
So here we go, we chain five already, turn, work a double over the top of this double, chain two, and work one double into the next three. So that's one, two, and three. Now work three doubles into the chain space here. One, two, and three. Chain two and work one more double into that same chain space to create a V-stitch on the end. Chain five and turn, three, four, five, and we're going to just repeat the last two rows we worked over and over again. So into the chain space, we work three double crochet, one, two, and three. Chain two, Skip two, one, two, work a double. Chain two, skip two, one, two, and work a double. Chain five and turn, one, two, three, four, five. Let me untangle myself here. There we go, chain five, turn. Over the top of this double crochet, we work a double crochet. Chain five, chain two, work one double into each of the next three, then work three doubles, excuse me, three doubles into your chain space. Basically, we're gonna work six double crochet across. So that's one, two and three then three more in the space making four and five and six chain two and in the same space work one more double crochet chain five one two three four five turn and repeat everything we just did over again three double crochets in the chain space, one, two, three, chain two, skip two, work a double, chain two, skip two, and work a double, then chain five and turn. One, two, three, four, five, Work a double over the double, and then work six doubles across. Chain two, and work those six doubles across. One, two, three in the chain space, four, five and six, chain two, and one more double crochet to create your V-stitch. Just give the whole thing a little tug that straightens it out. Then you'll chain five, turn and repeat three doubles into the chain space. One, two, very easy. Three, chain two, Skip two, work a double, chain two, skip two, work a double, chain five, and turn. And you just keep repeating those rows over and over again. And this is what you will have. Let me pull these up a little bit because these are our tops. And there you have it. Okay, very easy, isn't it? Now let's move on to the last pattern which looks like it is the most complicated, but it's really just as easy as the others. Let's get right into it. Okay, so for this last edging, we're gonna start with a chain of 12. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
9, 10, 11, and 12. And we're going to work three double crochet in the fourth chain from the hook. One, two, three, four. We're actually going to make a shell. So we're going to work three double crochet, chain three, and three double crochet all into the same stitch. three, then chain three, one, two, three, and then into the same stitch, three more double crochet, one, oops, two, and three. Now we will chain seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven, and single crochet into the very last chain on the row. There we go. Forgive me, that was meant to be a slip stitch. I'm sorry. Slip stitch. I read it wrong. Slip stitch into the last chain. So this is what you should have now. Okay, now we're going to chain three. One, two, three and work 10 double crochet along this chain or under the chain under the chain of seven so that is one two three four five six seven, eight, nine, and ten. Now chain two, one, two, and work a shell over the shell of three double crochet, chain three and three double, chain three, and then three double. One. I hate when I do that so much. Two and three. Okay, now it says we will chain three and turn. One, two, three, and then work a shell over the shell. So this is the back of our edging here, the shell row will stay constant because this is the part that you would stitch onto your item. So it's like it's your border of your edging. Now chain two, one, two, and work one double crochet into the very first double crochet. Chain two, skip one, and work a double crochet. This will be the repeat in this portion all the way to the end. You will chain two, skip one, and then work a double crochet. Chain two, skip, and the next stitch over, work a double crochet. Chain two, and in your last turning chain, work a double crochet. Okay, now you will work a chain three and turn. And into this first space here, work three double crochet plus a single crochet all into the same space. So that's one, two, and three, and then a single crochet. And then into the next three spaces, one, two, three, leaving the last one unworked, you will work one single crochet, three double crochet, and one single crochet into every space, except the last one. Two and three doubles, and one single. Next space over, one single, and three doubles. Sort of creating little petals. 
one, two, and three. One single. Next space over, single, three doubles, one, two, and three. And then one single. Now into your last space, work one single and two doubles. One and two, and then into the last double crochet, work one double right here. Just like that. Then you chain two and work a shell over the shell. One, two, and three, chain three, and then three double crochet. One, two, and three, chain five. One, two, three, four, five, and turn and work a shell over the shell. One, two, it is supposed to be a chain five, I think. Just a moment, let me make sure. It's supposed to be a chain three. <laughs> I guess that's the problem with doing so many different patterns in a row. I was mixing the last pattern, chain five, with this pattern. This one here, after we make the shell, we work a chain three, so forgive me on that one. Then work your shell over the shell. So it's a chain three. Two. And three. One, two, three. Then chain three, or I mean work three double crochet. Getting my brain a little mashed up. Now we will chain seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven, and into the very first double crochet right here, you will work a double crochet, chain three, and turn, and now we are working on our repeat. We're going to work ten double crochet under the chain, and I'm going to fight with little hairs. I'll be right back. I'm just going to work ten double crochet under the chain. Okay, so there is our 10 double crochet. Then we're going to chain two, work a shell. One, two, and three doubles. Chain three, and three doubles. One, two, and three. Then we chain three, one, two, three, turn, and again work a shell. Chain two, one, two, and work a double crochet, chain two, skip one, and a double crochet, just like we did before. Skip one, and then a double crochet. And then your last one will go into your turning chain. So you'll have one to skip and then work into the turning chain. Then chain three, Ooh, if I can get it, there we go. Chain three. And just like we did before, we're gonna work three into the very first space, three double crochet plus a single crochet at the end. And a single crochet. Then into the next one, two, three spaces. We start with a single crochet. 
we work three doubles and then a single crochet. And then a single crochet. So I will be right back. I'm gonna work the next two spaces the same way. Okay, now the last space, we start with a single crochet and then just work the two doubles. There we go, come on you. One and two, and then into the last double crochet, we work our last double. And then it's chain two and we work a shell. And this is gonna be the repeat. You will then finish your shell, chain three, turn and work a shell, then chain seven and attach your chain seven to the very first double crochet, chain three, turn and work 10 doubles under the chain seven and just keep repeating and you can rewind this video as many times as you need to. But that is this one and I absolutely love this one. And let's look at some of the edgings that we're gonna to get to play with in this book. Look at all of these beautiful edgings. This one here is actually knitted. So we won't be able to play with that one because I can't knit. But we have a lot of really cute edgings, some Irish crochet edgings as well. But yes, I love it. Here is the one that we made earlier. Look how beautiful these are. So we're really gonna get to play with just about all of these that I can. Look at how ornate. See this one here? This one here can be turned into a high neck collar. Well, really any of them can, like even this. But oh, look how beautiful that one is. I mean, that has to be in the next video, doesn't it? That is stunning. This one here is very beautiful. So we all talk, ooh, look how beautiful of a collar that would make. So we all talk to each other in the comments and something that I see a very common comment is, why isn't this a thing anymore? Why don't we do this anymore? Let's get your towels and let's put some edgings on our towels, on our pillowcases. Why not? On, on the sleeves of some of the things that we wear, sure. Oh, this would make a beautiful Victorian style collar. Absolutely, I love that. We are gonna play with, as like I said, as many of these that I can. Cause some of them are knitted and some of them are tatted and I don't know how to do tatting, but this is the one that we just did. Isn't that beautiful? So we have lots here. And so once again, I wanna give a great big thanks to Julie. Let me show you what Julie has decided to share with us. Here we go. We have this book. These are all from Julie. We have a lot more edgings. Look at that one there. That is definitely on my list. Stunning. This one here is gonna be with multiple colors, flowers. This one here has got some beautiful Irish crochet, which I'm really starting to get into. Look at the, how beautiful this is. The Irish crochet. Oh, I am, I have become a bit obsessed with Irish crochet since the, the first Titanic video. And then, um, yeah, we've got lots of beautiful edgings in here. These ones here seem a little bit more on the simpler side, but that is okay. Simple is good. These would all make beautiful chokers, all of them. Oh, look at these. Isn't that something? I ooh, oh, look at that. That has to be something we make. Okay. So again, thank you so much, Julie, for sharing these with me and for sharing these with all of us, really. And I do look forward to hearing from you guys. Let me know in the comments what you think and be sure to give Julie a big heart symbol and tell her thank you for sharing her beautiful patterns with us. I believe every book is from the 1940s. So that's gonna be a lot of fun. And these, I mean, these are just so great. 
I love them. Okay, guys, I will see you in the next video. Bye.